Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit use product options to construct bundles. This unit is from the module configurable bundles in Salesforce CPQ. So in the previous or the very first unit of this module, we looked up uh, looked at the concept how we can add product bundles into our quote lines and then associate it to a particular quote. But in this unit, we are going to go into a little bit more basic that how we can create a product bundle and how we can associate certain products as product options to that particular bundle and then add it into our quote line. So let's, uh, before moving on further with this unit's challenge, I want to, to show what are product options and what basically we are going to achieve in this unit's challenge. So if you remember in the very first unit where we worked upon our quote uh, 00001, here uh, we had added one, one product bundle. So if I just go to this quote lines, here you see that we added bundle laser printer and there were these four options coming up to configure, right? So these were the four product options. So all in all, laser printer was the leading product, which had these four products inside it associated. That means laser printer, along with these four, creates a, a group of product known as bundle. So whenever a person is purchasing or the customer is purchasing the bundle laser printer, it is going, that person is, or the customer is going to get all these four products along with it, along with the leading product, which is in this case was laser printer. So this is the basic uh, idea that we are going to cover up over here in this unit challenge that how we can create these product options. So if I just go to this edit line of this quote, here you will notice that uh, when I try to click on add products, so let's just go to one more time. If I just uh, select that laser printer again and click on select, here these four options are coming up all together without me doing anything, right? So how these products are coming and what are these called? So these are product options and how we can associate it to any particular product. In this case, it is these product options are associated to laser printer. So we are going to look up upon that, that how we can create a product bundle and associate product options to it. So let's quickly move on to our challenge and see what we have to do over here. So here in this case, we will be creating our bundle uh, on projector product. So let's go to our product uh, records. So here, uh, if you will see, there is this products. So now uh, beginning from here, we are going, we are starting with the with this unit's challenge. So here, uh, right now, recently viewed list view is opened up. So we have to go to all products in order to find out the project, uh, the projector product, which has been mentioned over here. So let's just go back here. And if I scroll to down uh, in the P alphabet, so there it is, pro projector, right? Now, if you will notice that here, you will see that uh, projector screen, projector ceiling mountain, and projector bulb is coming up, uh, that we have to create optional SKU, or you can say product option by these names. So if you will notice these three pro uh, projector screen, projector ceiling mountain, are also product in this Salesforce CPQ package. So here you can see projector ceiling mountain, projector screen, and projector bulb. And again, the projector. The, this, this in our case is going to be the leading product. And right now, all these uh, three products, projector bulb, ceiling mount, and screen are not related to our project uh, projector leading product, but when we uh, once we move ahead with this unit challenge these are going to be get associated with our main leading product projector so let's just open this up projector and go to the its uh, related tab now here you will see that there is this options related list coming up over here so we have to create a new option. Now this option will act as the product option. So the very first product option that we have to create is projector screen. So let's just go back. 
Here I'm going to search for screen. Here it is, projector screen, optional SKU. Now the number uh, I'm going to add is 10. So what number signifies is the sorting order. So the lowest the number, higher the product will be visible on the screen. Okay. Now, next thing is we have to select this as true. So I'll select this true. Now, what does this checkbox do is uh, it simply, so there is this checkbox against each uh, optional SKU uh, or the product options uh, when we go to product bundle. So it makes the product selected by default. So this is the functionality of this uh, checkbox uh, once it is selected. So that, that means that uh, product option will be automatically selected by default. And here, uh, one pointer I would like to mention for this number is, so here we are giving it out as 10. So make sure the number that you are giving for each product option should have at least or a minimum 10 numbers gap so that if in future you want to add other product options uh, in between and uh, in that way, it will be easy to sort without renumbering the existing or the previous product options. So this number is basically used uh, for this thing for the sorting purposes. Then the last thing is we have to mention quantity. So for quantity, it is one. So we are specifying quantity over here that it is going to be one. Now just click on save on save and new and one product option will get associated by the name projector screen to our product to our leading product projector. Now the second uh, option uh, product option that we have to add is ceiling mount projectors ceiling mount. So I'll just search for mount here. And there it is projector ceiling mount. So select this number now in this case, you notice that it is 20. So you can see uh, there is this gap over here. And for the third product uh, product option, there is this 30. So if in between in future, uh, in real time scenarios, you decide that you want to add few more product options between uh, the existing one. So in that case, you need not have to rename the existing uh, sorting numbers. So here uh, we are going to give out number as 20 quantity is one and now in this case we are not keeping this as selected so that's all uh, we have to do for this uh, product option now click on save and new and for the last product option it is projector bulb number is 30 quantity is two so let's just go back here and search for bulb number is 30 quantity this time we are giving out as two and uh, for each product option there is this configured sku right you can see there is this lookup so this specified what is the leading product option or uh, sorry what is the leading product uh, to which these product options are getting associated to it so right now if you can see in the back end as well we are working on the related list of product pro uh, projector so that is why project uh, projector uh, sku is coming up over here which specifies that this is our leading product now here in this uh, third of product option we are going to make this as editable if you notice in the previous two product option we did not select this checkbox that means we cannot edit the quantity of these uh, of those two product options but for this one uh, projector bulb i can edit the quantity so let's just save and see how this is going to work so for that, we have to go to edge communication account. And then from there, the, there is this opportunity projector for training room. We have to go there and work upon or edit lines for code 0003. So let's just go back to our accounts, go to edge communication. Now here, this is the account detail page. In the related tab, here we have opportunity by the name projector for training room. So let's just select this. And here you will notice that there is this code coming up uh, 0003. So select this code and 
now uh, as of now there are no quote lines associated to it you can see the number is zero now here once we click on edit lines we are going to work upon the products uh, which on click on save once configured after clicking on save will be converted into quote lines so let's just click on add products and we are going to take the product bundle projector which we just worked upon so here you can use either this search bar so i'll just search for projector there it is so this is the product bundle now if i just go to uh, select this checkbox and click on select now here you will see all the three product that we add, that we associated to our leading product projector right so along with projector you are going to get all these three uh if selected from here so uh, if you notice here one more thing that for projector screen we selected uh we made this uh field as true for projector screen that is why the checkbox against this is coming as true but for the rest of the two we did not check that selected field as true so that is why it is not uh selected by default over here so this was the first thing then second thing is uh, we have uh, specified the number as 10 for projector screen. So that means this should be displayed uh, on the top and then uh, ceiling mount and then bulb. So if you will see over here projector screen, since it is numbered as 10, it is coming on top, then ceiling mount and then bulb. So this is the functionality of number. It just helps to sort out the uh, order in which uh, you want to see your product options and then lastly is quantity editable so if i'll just go to but before that let's uh, see the quantity so for screen it's one uh mount is also one but for bulb it is two so you can see over here screen is one ceiling mount is one but for bulb it's two now as you can see right now all quantities are ineditable you cannot edit it Right. Uh, but once I select uh, these product options as well, that I want to add this into my uh, product bundle. So in that case, you will notice that these two are still ineditable because we did not selected the field quantity editable on our product as true. But we did it for only for the projector bulb. So that is why the projector bulb has editable quantity, but the rest of the two product options does not have editable quantity. So here I can change it to three. Let's ch uh, change it to three. You can see over here it has uh, changed to three. But once uh, so once I click on save, these uh, are going to convert into uh, quote lines. So there will be three products of uh, three quote lines by these. Uh, by the name of these products and the fourth quote line will be projector so this is also a product so all in all, in all this is a package that we are creating so just click on save and once it is saved all these four products are going to be visible in the quote lines so here you will see that quantity has been updated as three that's all just click on save and now our quote lines will be created for 0003 quote now right now this is not refreshed so let me just refresh it so the count of quote lines will be visible over there. So it is four, three are product options. And the fourth one is the leading product by the name projector. So this is how we can create and then uh, create product option and then create bundle. This is basically the process how we can create the bundles. So let's just go back and click on check challenge whether we have passed our required uh, steps or not. There you go. This unit has been completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.